sort of chop the pick off you can also see the need like a big drum so that's what i wanted to achieve with this so as you can see i'm using this brainworks uh bs clipper from plugin alliance to chop off like a setting like this a certain peak so my gain reduction here too is uh, minus five so you can see so here is actually linked as guitar You hear that? You hear that? I'm still going to, you know, work on that bass to, uh, so that it will really gel with the drums. I'm still going to use some saturator to make it fit into the drum. I had uh, something here from Arcade. So let's see what I did here. Like can like a swing this is my favorite reverb for drums so this is my pretty much this is pretty much my settings um room medium and you can add some saturation if you want to it's very great for drums so you can see what i did i sort of sent it back by 15 percent you can see so i wanted it to be behind the main drum main drum loop so i wanted to be behind that main drum loop so that was what i was trying to achieve there so sort of be behind do you get i didn't want it to be punching out so in as much as i've actually used um this uh bx plugin to chop up the pick and also control it with this uh compressor with this compressor this guy here so I also wanted to still send it back a bit. Do you get? You can see. You can hear it's banging. You can hear it's banging. I wanted to, you know, try to push it backward with the drums uh, from the main drum. So that was why I used this reverb on that um, on that very filtered drum. So. Um, you don't need to stick to these very settings you can use your settings and be creative with it so you can hear it nice just settle you don't need to you don't need to do it too much just settle you probably not even hear it but it's just doing this job so let's go